months after an EF3 tornado ripped through sulfur, there are signs the town is beginning to bounce back. However, the historic city is still facing some challenges rebuilding. News Force Caitlin Ogle has details. Unfortunately, disasters like these don't come with a playbook or a manual that says this is the first thing you need to do. More than 90 days since a tornado barreled through downtown Sulphur, offices and buildings still left gutted. Chandra Raymer, president of the Sulphur Chamber of Commerce, says this city is historic, founded in the early 1890s, which is playing a major role in the restoration process. Oh, it's going to take a little longer, I feel like, than normal just because the infrastructure that we had downtown. Adding to the rebuilding issues, much of the infrastructure is out of date. I believe they said last week they um, found a water line or a gas line, something that had 1904 stamped on it. That's what the city will need to focus on before the community can start building back. Raymer says the plans are in the works. A task force with businesses, property owners and residents meeting weekly. And coming up with strategic plans on where to start and trying to get uh, a game plan so we can get things rolling. While the process may take some time, the community is still strong working together to bring this town back to life, but keeping its historic roots. So we've had to take a step back and collect ourselves. Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Caitlin, thank you. In just a few weeks, August 17th, the city is hosting a fundraiser to raise money for the plaza in downtown Sulphur, and you are invited. It is from 4 until 9 the evening, that evening at the Artesian Hotel. They would like to host concerts again, too, and bring everyone downtown because that's where the heart of the city is, they say.